yo, check it out. It's fucked up because I don't see either one of us budging. I'm withholding my young, I thought I'd like to be the stranger of the podcast that was Pussy's puny neck. It's my right to insist that he acknowledge my existence, but he just displays complete lack of respect. That's what he says to himself as he uses magazines to trust me, as he sits there both his feet up at his desk. Smokes a bag of his weed and starts imagining things, and he just can't see that he's manically depressed. And his jealousy and envy just wars him to a frenzy, so he turns on the TV and sees my face. He don't exist in this world, so he just twists in his world, spies and spells to hurt, holds himself into rage. And it's destroying him slowly, cause he doesn't even know me, even though he sees me everywhere he goes. So he just tortures himself that he has no fortune and well, so he extorts someone else to get his dough. And now he's acting like a bully, so he tries to push him for me, but he knows that he can pull me, so he's mad. He's, he has no choice but to scream and raise his voice but me, cause it annoys him to see that I am scared. You ain't no motherfucking bully, and you ain't bowing to no motherfucking bully. I won't allow it, gonna cow it to the bully. I'll be damned if I don't stand up to a bully. Fall like a man and throw my hands up to a bully. Then know it must be fucking emotionally. Now I'm not trying to make no more enemies no more, unfortunately. They so, there's so many, many motherfuckers, they just are. They keep handing at me and then now that I'm down with Joe, suddenly now I've got beef with this faggot Ethan. But his ass is such a puppet, I could shove, shove my whole hand up it and just make him say what I want him to say. So he can say that he's gay just because he is gay and now he's just a white, white, white bitch.